celebration for the 29th Sunday in Ordinary Time, World Mission Day. Jesus reminds us today that everything belongs to God, including us who are created in his image. Let us pray for the grace to let this conviction influence every choice we make. Please stand to begin our praise and worship of God. Influenzare 
Ogni scelta che facciamo. Gesù nos recuerda, hoy que todo le pertenece a Dios, incluidos los que fuimos creados a su imagen. Oremos por la gracia de permitir que esta condición influya en cada inscripción que hacemos. En el nombre del Padre, del Son, del Holy Spirit. Amén. Peace be with you all. And with your spirit. We begin our celebration by recognizing that we are sinners. We turn towards the Lord who offers us his love and mercy. I confess, yes, Almighty, Almighty God, God, you, you my brothers, brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, thoughts and in my words, in what, what I have done and in what I failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the blessed Mary of the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God yes. in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Lord Christ, Christ only begotten Son, Son, Lord God, God Lamb, Lamb of God, God Son of God, Son of God. Father. You, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, grant that we may always conform our will to yours, and serve your majesty in sincerity of heart. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord to his anointed, to Cyrus, whose right hand I have grasped, to subdue nations before him, and strip kings of their robes, to open doors before him, and the gates shall not be closed. For the sake of my servant Jacob, and Israel my chosen, I call you by your name, I your sole name, though you do not know me. I am the Lord, and there is no other. Besides me, there is no God. I arm you, though you do not know me, so that all may know from the rising of the sun and from the west that there is no one besides me. I am the Lord, and, and there is no other. The word of the Lord. Thanks. 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 to the Lord glory and strength ascribe to the Lord glory and strength oh sing to the Lord a new song sing to the Lord all the earth declare his glory among the nations his marvelous works among all the peoples Ascribe to the Lord glory and strength. For great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. He is to be revered above all gods. For all the gods of the peoples are idols, but the Lord made the heavens. Ascribe to the Lord glory and strength. Ascribe to the Lord, O families of the peoples. Ascribe to the Lord glory and strength. Ascribe to the Lord the glory to his name. Bring an offering and come into his courts. Ascribe to the Lord glory and strength. Worship the Lord in holy splendor. Tremble before him, O the earth. 
Say among the nations, the Lord is King. He will judge the peoples with equity. Ascribe to the Lord glory and strength. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. From Paul, Silvanus, and Timothy to the Church of the Thessalonians. In God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ, grace to you and peace. We always thank God for all of you and mention you in our prayers, constantly remembering before our God and Father your work of faith and labor of love and steadfastness of hope in our Lord Jesus Christ. For we know, brothers and sisters, beloved by God, that he has chosen you because our message of the gospel came to you not in word only, but also in power and in the Holy Spirit and with full conviction. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Shine like stars in the world, holding fast to the world of life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. The Pharisees went and plotted to entrap Jesus in what he said. So they sent their disciples to him along with the Herodians, saying, Teacher, we know that you are sincere and teach in the way of God in accordance with truth and show deference to no one, for you do not regard people with partiality. Tell us then what you think. Is it lawful to pay taxes to the emperor or not? But Jesus, aware of their malice, said, Why are you putting me to the test, you hypocrites? Show me the coin used for the tax. And they brought him a denarius. Then he said to them, Whose head is this and whose title? They answered, Caesar's. Then he said to them, Give therefore to Caesar the things that are Caesar's, and to God the things that are God's. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise be you, Lord Jesus Christ. So what does Jesus talk us in this gospel this morning? Say 
Say something and do something else. Say something and do something else. What else? Something that we do every day. Whenever, uh, because we're taught that's what, how we should act when we meet somebody. We say hello, and what else do we say? Do we really want to know? We don't really want to know, right? Depends on who we're meeting, of course. But basically, we don't really want to know. Hypocrisy, right? God invites us to re rethink our way of, of acting, our way of being in our daily lives, so that He is at the center of everything we do. It demands that we sit down and take some moments of silence and look at our days and ask the Lord to be present and to help us in our daily lives so that we can be present to Him. The people of God said, Amen. Amen. Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. As members of both the Church and society, let us pray for clear vision and the wisdom to live with integrity and gratitude for ourselves and all who live in a world filled with ambiguity. The response to each intention is, Lord, hear the cries of your people. Lord, hear the cries of your people. For all in the church whose faith is challenged by the expectations of others. For all who deserve, who serve in mission territories. And for men and women of faith who model Christ for others. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear the cries of your people. For wisdom for those with legitimate authority to discern the common good under an even higher power. We pray to the Lord. Lord, you are part of your people. For those who do not know how to exercise authority with justice and love, for those whose lives have been impacted negatively by rules, laws, and policies, for those throughout the world whose faith is endangered by political systems or cultural practices, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear the cries of your people. For the grace to manifest God's, God's presence in our workplaces, families, and society, and for the ability to teach our children respect for legitimate authority and love, for God, and love of God above all, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear the cries of your people. For an end to the pandemic, for the sick among us, Jean Good. Brenda Khan, Lucia Benditti, for those who have died, for our beloved dead, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear the cries of your people. Today our celebration is in thanksgiving to the most holy trinity for the life of Javier Torres. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear the cries of your people. Lord, we also offer up all our personal intentions. God, besides whom there is no other, we are called to love you while we fulfill the many responsibilities of our lives. Help us to be good citizens of the world and discern what is important among our obligations while we keep our eyes and hearts focused on you. And we ask this through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen.
pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all, his holy church. Grant us, Lord, we pray, a sincere respect for your gifts, that through the purifying action of your grace, we may be cleansed by the very mysteries we serve. And we ask this through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord, our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you laid the, the foundations of the world and have arranged the changing of times and seasons. You formed man in your own image and set humanity over all the earth of the world, the whole world and all its wonder, to rule in your name over all you have made, and forever praise you in your mighty works through Christ our Lord. Amen. So with all the angels, we praise you as in joyful celebration. We acclaim, holy, 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 holy Lord God, God, God of hosts. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the do fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took the bread, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have felt us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, to your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Christian, our Archbishop, Thomas and Alain, his auxiliaries, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit it to be co-heirs to eternal life. And we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Through him, and with him, and in him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At our Savior's command, informed by his divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus the Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I give you my peace, I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who we'll live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be always with you. And with your spirit. Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world.
have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should have under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never let me to be separated from you. Amen.
grant, O Lord, we pray, that benefiting from participation in heavenly things, we may be helped by what you give in this present age, and prepared for the gifts that are eternal. We ask this through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Please look up the screens for the weekly announcements. Registration for Alpha is closed for this session. Stay tuned for information on future sessions. Our annual celebration of hope, in memory of those who have died in the last year, will take place on the weekend of November 14th and 15th. All the information is in the bulletin. And finally, if your last name begins with any of the letters between A and Z, you are all invited to bring food for our food bank next weekend. This week, we are asking for baby food. Now remember from last time, that's food for babies, not food made with babies. A subtle but important distinction. Thank you, and God bless. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. The Lord fill you with his love and bless you. He is Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace and joy of Christ. Thanks be to God. Have a good Sunday. Have a good week. Thank you.